Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Carly and I'm a young mom to my one-year-old daughter, Cash. So today we're just kind of vlogging. We're going to the Science Museum. Right now we're getting gas and I think we, I'm gonna ask Jackson to stop and get us some food because I haven't actually ate all day today because my stomach has been a little bit weird. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, it would mean so, so much to us if you guys would subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram. And with all that being said, let's get into this vlog. Do pull-ups. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 back from the science museum i don't know if you guys noticed but i was hanging out with bailey and aaron it's everybody loves ella here on youtube um now that we're back jackson went to go bowling with his friends and i think i'm gonna take a nap cash is already asleep but i'm exhausted so i'll just see you guys whenever i get up from my nap okay so we just took a two-hour nap it's actually seven o'clock but we've been up 
Cash's ponytail fell out, um, but her hair standing oh. up, so she looks so funny. But um, I was thinking about going to hang out with Bailey and Aaron at their house, but I have decided against that because my stomach hurts so bad. And so I think I'm just gonna go to my mom's. Hey, hi guys, it's the next day. We are just hanging out outside. We are cooking breakfast. Jackson already messed up our pancakes, so he went in to make another like batch or mix or whatever. Um, so last night, whenever I got home from my parents' house, I felt so bad. My stomach hurt so bad. So I ended up just going to bed as soon as I got here. And yeah, now we're up and we're making breakfast. I know we need to go grocery shopping today and we need, I wanna to go to Bath and Body Works to get some candles. So shout out to Kaylee Varney for inspiring me to spend all my money at um, Bath and Body. So we're gonna do that today, I think. And I need to film and yeah, so. Okay, so we're back from the store. Here's all of our Walmart stuff. And we went to Bath and Body Works. I really didn't even get that much stuff, but we spent over a hundred dollars, so. Okay, so here's what I got from Bath and Body Works. So this bag is perfumes. So I got marshmallow pumpkin latte. I had this last year in a hand sanitizer the year before that. And it smelled so good and this smells so good too. But I always get the same scents, like something sweet, something fruity, something with vanilla. And that kind of goes in line like the marshmallow. So I went ahead and got a perfume that's a little bit stronger, like a more of not vanilla scent. And this is Champagne Toast. This is kind of an older one, but I wanted a little bit of a stronger scent. So I always get vanilla and marshmallow and stuff like that. So I went ahead and got that. And then I also got Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin hand sanitizer for my purse. And that's the perfumes that I got. Then we got some candles. So this one was Jackson's pick. We got it in a small one for the bathroom. It's more of a clean scent, but it's autumn woods. It smells super good, but um, it's not like a scent that I'd want my whole house to smell like. So we're gonna put that one in the bathroom. And then the two that I got, one of them Jackson doesn't like, but he's just gonna have to deal with it and that is White Pumpkin. I have this candle in a different brand. It's actually in my um, bucket that I haven't even gotten down, mm, but it smells so good. It's like spiced. What is this supposed to smell like? Gingered White Pumpkin, Caramel Glaze, Warm Blended Spices, and Natural Essential Oils. But mm, it smells so good. So this one is White Pumpkin. Second one I got was the Cranberry Woods, and this was the one that me and Jackson actually agreed on. It's a little bit of a sweeter smell, and it smells like tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, golden amber with natural essential oils. But it smells so good as well, so that's this one. So I got White Pumpkin, Cranberry Woods, and Autumn Woods. Okay, so I just finished putting up my groceries, and I just wanted to talk to you guys for just a second. So, I have felt like crap this weekend and I can't believe that I felt like crap this weekend because I was fully prepared to be motivated to get out and do something to clean my whole house again because I haven't been here because I was working and that did not get to happen this weekend so I just I can't believe that this happened so let me just kind of clear up what has been going on so on Thursday I ate at this place called New China I don't know if you guys know what that is it's a Chinese restaurant. Um, I don't know if it's just an Oklahoma thing, if it's just here or if it's like everywhere, but it's here and I ate it on Thursday. Me and my friend that I work with, we were like, oh my God, Chinese sounds good. And it's the closest Chinese place. So we just went, got it for lunch and that was that. So the next day I 
woke up and I felt so nauseous. Like it was weird because I don't feel nauseous. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's how I felt. So then my stomach started to like hurt so bad. And I was like, that is so weird. Like, I don't know what's going on. That was Friday. So Saturday, I went to the science museum. I was completely like in stomach pain that day. And I don't even know if anybody knew it because I was just like, girl, like you gotta get through it. We're here already. We already invited people. We gotta, we gotta get through. So I did, I went, I, I conquered. I felt like crap that entire day and I don't think anybody knew. Um, my friends were like, hey, do you wanna hang out later after like you get home? I was like, I'll text you. And I was just like, when I got here, I was like dead. I took a two and a half hour nap, which never happens. Made me feel worse actually, because every time I take a nap, I feel so, so nauseous. So yeah, Sunday I woke up again. I felt super nauseous. So I was like, oh my God, like I'm for real pregnant. So that was Saturday during the day. I feel like absolute crap. I just pushed through it. I, I conquered, I came and I conquered. Um, after that, um, later that night, me and Cash took a two and a half hour nap. And then I woke up, Jackson was still out bowling with his friends. So I was like, girl, I gotta go somewhere else. Someone's gotta watch this kid. Like, I feel so bad. So I go to my parents' house and I'm starting to put two and two together that I have freaking food poisoning from this Chinese restaurant. I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? So I text my coworker, I'm like, girl, no more Chinese. Like, I don't know, my stomach is effed up. And she was like, oh my God, no way, me too. I felt so nauseous and all like all blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, tea, like that's exactly how I feel. We both have food poisoning. Um, I feel a lot better today. It's actually Monday. I don't even know. I was gonna try to be sneaky, but I'm just gonna fast up. I skipped all of yesterday. Whenever I was making breakfast, we did not go to the grocery store. We waited till today, which is Monday. An hour and a half before this vlog goes up, I'm filming this because I didn't get to finish this vlog. But yeah, so. That's the tea. I cannot believe it. But I got food poisoning from a Chinese restaurant that I don't even think I've ever ate at before. Also, that's my fridge and it sounds terrifying. So I'm sorry. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've been super MIA off of Instagram and all of that stuff, even YouTube. Um, I kind of talked about this in my Q and A video. So if you guys haven't watched that already, you guys can go check that out. I started working a couple weeks ago as reception instead of kennel at my job. So I've been doing that full time, three days a week. That takes up a lot of time. I literally work 10, 11 hour shifts, so, or 10 to 11 hour shifts. I've been super busy. I'm trying to figure out a good schedule. Um, I'm actually about to film two videos right now after I'm done with this. I'm gonna clean up a little bit, get ready and film a couple, two videos and hopefully get one of them edited tonight. So tea, I hope I get that done. But yeah, so I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been super MIA, so on top of that, with my job, I've also had food poisoning. I see, I cannot believe that that happened. I've never had food poisoning. That kind of sums up this random vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, I understand because it was a mess. But if you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my Instagram and my other social medias, which will all be linked down in the description box below. And yeah, so I will see you guys all in the next video.